Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Ike the Explosive One. And it is time to start the timer. Ding, boom, you know. So, TNT, NFTs, right? NFTs. NFTs. Non-fungible so, tokens. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, like when they first came out, well, it's been, what, about a, maybe a year at the most since they really kind of came into the forefront of whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, like... At first, it was like, oh, yeah, you buy, you buy a digital picture, the ownership of a digital thing online and whatever, and, like, it, it sounds really stupid. Yeah. But, like, I understand how they can be used for a benefit moving forward. The technology's not there yet, but I feel like they will it's, – but it's not going to be as pictures. You know what I mean? That isn't going to be the thing. Like, I think I've talked to you, like, oh, it could be, like, you get an NFT concert ticket, so it can't be co- counterfeited, and you, that's how you get in and things like that. It's all mm-hmm. on the blockchain, whatever. Those sort of – Things I could, or like a Gucci purse. Like, here's an, a certificate, of th- uh, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So the guy who bought the NFT of the first tweet of the, tw- <laughs> the Twitter founder <laughs> bought this thing for like $2.8 million. He did. And people say that it was just another way to launder money. Because they say that the art market is, isn't is really that things are worth that much. It's just people laundering money. That is That's why it, art yeah. is worth bi- millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... So this dude bought it for $2.9 million, and he recently, he wanted to turn his investment. He wanted to flip his investment. Have you heard about this? I did. Yeah. So, did. yeah. So after a couple days, he had, he tr- well, he tried <laughs> to get $48 million for it. He tried to, wait, yeah. like, so what would that be? Fifth, that'd be like a lot of times his initial investment. Yeah, Three, that's what he wanted. He wanted 16 to, times. He wanted to come up on it. So after a few days, it got close, 280 Dollars, two hundred and eighty dollars, just two hundred and eighty. I guess the highest it's <laughs> it's at now is like sixty eight hundred, but this this dude is is set to take a two point eight million dollar yes. loss on an NFT. Yes, and uh, my favorite. I'm not surprised by this in the slightest. But my favorite thing is, did you hear what he said? What the guy said about it? I know that he said he'd probably hold on to it if it didn't go up to what he wanted to, but no. <laughs> He said, my offer to sell was high, and not everyone could afford it. He goes, it's important to me who wants to buy it. I will not sell this NFT to anyone because I do not think everyone deserves this NFT. Says, sounds like something spoken straight from a guy who was scammed. <laughs> <laughs> like, now, this is a very important NFT. So Right. You know. He tried to call it the Mona Lisa of the digital art world or hey, something. Hey, look, man, when you see yourself hemorrhaging money the way this guy is, you got to start selling your product a little. <laughs> like, look, not everybody can have this product. He's like, the Virgin Mary doesn't even deserve yeah, this. Yeah. yeah. Jesus a- came back from the dead, asked me for this NFT. I was like, I don't know, Jesus, let me see your credentials. Yeah, yeah, right. You got enough? You got you yeah. got $48 million? Absolutely. So, but yeah, uh, you know, like, it just shows that not only the common man gets scammed, these rich mofos get, <laughs> get scammed too. It's so funny. And, and honestly, it's, the stories like this hurt the NFT market on whole too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. People yeah. are already skeptical. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's because everyone just thinks it's like owning a digital picture. But like, yeah. Once you know. Like once I started doing more research and realizing they, the true benefit they have for it's really good for stuff like I was talking about counterfeits, things like that, or like even stuff to say like, hey, I'm this I'm this entity. So say like, whatever, uh, like a musician s- sells an NFT. You buy my musical NFT, right? But that also it can get you perks. Like hey, you own my NFT, you get free a free meet and greet with me at any of my concerts or you get unre- unreleased music that no one else gets. Thing, you can have it be a thing like that, and you can't counterfeit them. So it's like you can give a benefit to the cost. Yeah. But no one's paying $3 million to, get like a, to go meet Snoop Dogg. You know, it's like, no. but yeah, well, if I could get a $50 NFT and like, oh, I can go have a meet and greet. And, and see, and I, I mean, I, I get the idea of an NFT because we're talking about the art market, which is something that me and you are not privy to no. because we, we not, frankly, we don't have the money. But a lot of millionaires and billionaires, they invest in art to make their profits go up because art appre- appre- appreciates in value. When it's, as it get old, gets older, yeah. Yeah, if it's, if it's wanted. 
if it's something valuable. And if some and like it started out like the first time I ever heard about NFTs was when Banksy started doing NFTs, and he's a uh, a famous, semi famous street, street, street artist. artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like people actually were clamoring to get some of his artwork, and the fact that he was selling it in this new form, an NFT. It was fine, and like it's, it's still selling even now, you know, at a at a premium, and it's not losing money. And then you have like the board apes. Um, very few of those are out anyway. A lot of them are already taken up, and those things were selling for like a thousand dollars, three thousand dollars eventually. Now they're going for like two hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah. So there are cases where the art uh, <laughs> subjugates the rule of like this being a scam. So it's not always a scam. But it just kind of well, matters that if it's really yeah. art, if it's really something that people are going to want, because other than that, you're just buying like trading cards and you don't know what the, what the well, price Well, I mean, essentially is. trading cards are a scam because, I mean, you buy a pack of cards and you get, yeah, you, you might get that Nolan Ryan card that back yeah. in the day. But yeah. like if nobody wants that Nolan Ryan card, it's not even worth the money you paid for the pack of cards. Things are only worth what people are willing to pay for right and so. when i think the nft market is the same as the crypto market is like there is value in things in crypto and in mm-hmm. nfts but there's also a ton of scams we did we did an yep. episode about crypto sis porn star nfts and she was just like well i just want the money by and like that's it like it's yeah. it's um but i think the real value lies in nfts that aren't necessarily expensive that either show proof of ownership or show valid or give you perks of some sort or like hey you buy a music festival ticket and you get the nft but if you have the nft you get into like the special zone See, at the festival and and, da, 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 da. and i almost hate that idea because i feel like it, it it's disingenuous to the idea of what the nft is when you start adding perks because then i'm just buying the perks i'm not really even buying the nft i'm just buying the perks well right yeah, but you can. But then also, the thing will go up in value if it's like, say, you buy. Yeah, but the perks don't. Yeah, they but go to the next person. Yeah, but they would because they own the NFT. Then it's like if you had NFT concert tickets, you would s- physically send the NFT from your wallet to their wallet. Yeah, and then you don't have it anymore, and then that person can show the proof. But it like say, but say for example, like say like when a band like. Uh, Who's gotten really big lately? Like, say Drake. Okay, somebody like Drake, right? He's big. Sure. So, say like when Drake first started making music way back when, you could get, you could got, you could have got like a Drake NFT that gives you certain things, like almost like a fan club membership, and it, and you bought him for ten bucks because he's just some random dude making music. Well, now Drake's super famous, selling out giant arena shows. How much you think that Drake NFT would be worth? A ton of money because people want those benefits so you would almost right. buy in when oh. they're and then they would if you happen to make it become a star they they're worth a ton of money because they give you perks that directly uh, interact with that star. okay on that same note say i bought a jewel nft right and you know you remember jewel yeah i hit the more it's like 3 a.m yeah dude she did it at 3 a.m and it so bad even after yeah. you go Okay, how much is that? How much is that jewel? But NFT that's just like any pro- it's like any stock, any product. You buy a company, they go bankrupt. You go lose all your money. And so, like I say, you run into the same issue of that, that jewel NFT. Sound like a scam to me. I mean, Not- it wouldn't <laughs> have been in 1997, 1998, but by 2022, be like, no, this this jewel coin is getting out. <laughs> buy low, sell high, walk away, yo. Every person you sell a stock to. Somebody ends up with the bag, yo. No, like, just, I'm, I, like when you start adding the perks to it, the perks, when, if the perks go away because they are company to the NFT, then if the artist fails or the movie fails or whatever, the the uh, they die in a plane crash, then the NFT is already devalued by like fifty right. percent. Oh yeah, exactly. So I don't know exactly how it's good, but that's but I where think, that's where I feel like the yeah. the, the kind of issue is with with adding that to the NFT. No, for sure, and, and it's gonna. I mean, I think I think what they end up. At, like in five years will be nothing like what I'm even talking about right now. It's not going to be digital. I mean, there will be digital art NFTs, but they're talking about the GameStop doing the NFT marketplace where like if you buy a skin in a game, you own that skin and you can sell that skin as an NFT to someone else. Mm-hmm. And when they get it, it beca- it's on their account rather than which, – which I think that's great because my biggest thing has always been you buy these digital games and you can't do anything with them. So you buy it and it sucks. You buy it, you beat it, you buy it, whatever – you just literally threw sixty dollars into the ether forever. Where a physical game, you're like, oh, I'm done with this. Yeah, you might only get twenty bucks for it, but you still get twenty bucks back for something you're never gonna touch again. Yeah, so, yeah. 
If they could do that, I think that would be very lucrative because gamers love collecting crap, dude. I mean, people love. That's true. And well, like I said, it's still along the same lines of like if the game fails, then it's yeah. gone. But let me tell you this, and the, the episode's over. Oh, imagine okay. these. Imagine those Overwatch skins that you missed on a holiday when the game was brand new, but you could buy that off someone online to complete your set of every Overwatch skin. Yeah. Or you were done playing Overwatch and you wanted to sell all your high end skins that you got on events. I mean, that's kind of like like Diablo Two did that with the Diablo Marketplace. Kind, yeah, it, that's essentially kind of what it is. I think you know. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it's I I still think that it's it's a strong industry. NFTs are strong. I don't care for them. I'm not buying any. I still right. feel like they're strong. It's just that you hear about these cases where this guy bought something that he thought would be valuable. That uh-huh. everybody's like, I don't. I don't want that. Yeah, but so you, you just got to be better. careful what you're doing. The exactly. same with crypto. D- do your DD exactly. <laughs> so that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are. Up.